Hey everyone, I'm Kronos, and this is a tutorial for the 4th Moist Critical Speedrun Challenge, beating Escape from Lavender Island as fast as possible. For the challenge, the top 10 fastest runners will receive part of the $10,000 prize pool. At the end of the challenge, the top 10 runners are invited to a finale race right after the challenge ends, with the winner receiving a part of the bonus prize pool. More details on this race will come later on. Before we get started, special thanks to the following people, including Plumato and Cooling Cake for helping out with the game, such as getting access to the leaderboards and general information about the speedrun, the Demented Salad and Sabuline Horizon for the auto splitter, and Jeremy C, the developer of the game who we're working with to help the competition run without any errors. Escape from Lavender Island is a third-person open-world exploration game. You are playing as Zed Axis, who wakes up from his dream about a city, only to realize that what he saw in his sleep is now part of a physical reality that he cannot find his way out of. There are many mechanics in this game, including multiple masks, which change your character's abilities, a spaceship that you can use to travel around, and all sorts of other things that you are able to do. The current world record is by Cooling Cake in 18 minutes and 49 seconds RTA. It's a pretty solid run, using a few glitches already, with one major skip that skips through half of the game currently by clipping through the floor, and a few more things. There's still a lot of potential in the run, with the game's unique mechanics, to find even more tricks and glitches. The version of the game that everyone should be using is the Steam version, which you can find here for $10. All you need to do is just download and install the game, and run it. No extra things are necessary. You can download the latest version of LiveSplit here, at livesplit.org. Once it's downloaded, you can get this timer, which is your LiveSplit timer. To set the game up to run with LiveSplit, uh, right-click the timer, click edit splits, and then under game name you're going to type escape from Lavender Island, just like so. And then once you select it, currently there's no auto splitter because we haven't pushed it to the uh, repository that has all the auto splits, so that's why this is grayed out. But once we do that, just click activate and it should give you everything that you need. If you want to get the auto splitter before the feature is implemented, go to the live split editor by right clicking and click edit layout, and then click this plus button. Then under control, add scriptable auto splitter. So once you do that, double click the scriptable auto splitter, and you're going to need the script for it, which you can find here on the speedrun.com page under resources. And just download the auto splitter and put that file into the live split layout right here. To submit your speedruns of the game, just go to this website of speedrun.com and hit submit run and just follow the instructions from there on what you need to do to submit. To record speedruns of your game, uh, use whatever broadcasting or recording software to stream. And yeah, most people use OBS Studio. And once you install it and everything, it should just look like this. Then from here, all you need to do is add a few things, including a game capture source for getting your game captured. And yeah, just adding a window capture of your live split as well. So pretty standard, just select the window you want. And yeah, that should basically be everything necessary. For the challenge, we're going to have a 60 FPS frame limit cap. This is to ensure that the competition is fair for all runners on all different PCs. To do this, you can either use Rivatuner, which you can see right here, just download and install it from our, the link below in the description, and just click add the game's exe file, or you could set it in global. And make sure you have the FPS uh, capture frame rate value displayed somewhere on the screen during your run. That's all for the tutorial video. 
If you have any questions, you can ask them down below in the comments, or in the Moist Critical Challenge Discord linked below. I will also be doing a stream to discuss the speedrun itself as well more on the day the challenge releases, and yeah, make sure to tune in and be ready for the challenge. Good luck to all the participants and have a good day!